The San Francisco Glens has been the largest and most diverse soccer club in the city. And now, with the addition of their women's team, they're positioned to grow more on and off the field. Joining us now with more on how both teams are preparing for this season is midfielders Sabrina Weinman from their women's team and Dominic Valdivia from their men's team. Dominic, Sabrina, thank you both so much for joining us today. Thanks for thank having you. us. Yeah, now this is really exciting because we have had the SF Glens men's team last year on the show, but now we have an addition to the women's team. Can you guys tell me a little bit about this additional process? Yeah, so it's obviously the part of the USL. It's pretty similar to the um, USL 2, the mm -hmm. guys team, so it's pretty similar and yeah, I was just looking to build it up. It's the first uh, year with for this league, so SF Glens is pretty exciting to get join on the wave. So yeah, that's that is very exciting. Yeah. And for the men's team, what does this addition with the women's team mean for the entire club? I mean, as a whole club, you know, it's a big community. Um, so adding a women's team just adds to that community that we already have and just adds a lot, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can see that. It's yeah. a huge addition for the entire yeah. club. And with the women's team specifically, about half of you guys were actually on the U.S. national youth team, correct? Yeah, yeah we have teams, uh, we have girls from a whole bunch of different colleges, Stanford, Cal, Berkeley. Um, so we have a, a good group of girls, so we're really excited to get out there. And when it comes to the league, this USL women's, right? It's USLW. Yes. When it, it compared to the men's, what's the difference between the two leagues or similarities? Um, they're pretty similar. Um, just the pathway. Uh, I feel like our league is. We've been lacking the league where you know it's like the the gateway to professional, which is mostly a lot of the girls' goals on the team. So um, that's pretty similar to the men's side. And yeah. And for the men's team, you guys recently just made the playoffs for the first time ever yes. in, in the history of the club, right? Yes. Yeah. Tell me about this last season and why it was so special. I mean, we just had a great group of guys that loved being around each other. The coaching staff was amazing, and uh, our coach Gabe just told us every day that he believed in us and believed in the players. And I know we, we had a really great season, first playoffs in uh, club history, but uh, we obviously wanted more, and we have a big chunk of players coming back, and so we think we could just succeed even more this year and win it hopefully yeah and you mentioned club history speaking of history you guys the ladies team mm -hmm. you guys are making history because you're the first ever women's team with the sf glens exactly how does it feel to be part of that it feels amazing uh hopefully we can win yeah. uh, we can go far like just like the boys <laughs> team so it's it's a big thing for girls soccer and youth soccer and hopefully uh the younger girls in uh, the our sf academy uh look up to us and are excited to get there so. so the season actually does kick off this Sunday. And is that for both the men's and women's team? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so tell me a little bit about how people can find you guys, where they can watch you. Uh, so our first game is this Sunday, May 7th. The uh, men's play at 1230, followed by the women's at 330. Mm -hmm. So that will be at Skyline College down in San Bruno. But besides that, uh, we will be having more double headers throughout the year, which will be on the Cronon app. So those will be, I believe, May 27th, June 11th, and uh, June 25th. Oh, so that is very soon. Yes. That's very, very, very soon. soon. Okay, so people can tune in this yes. week. And also groundbreaking for a new stadium this year as well, right? Yes. What do you guys know about the new stadium? So I believe we're about a third of the way done. That's it, progress. The, the <laughs> um, stadium will be on Treasure Island, hopefully sitting around. 3,500 to 5,000 people. Mm -hmm. And I know they're still looking for some naming rights companies or some sponsors to help them just finish out what they have left of the stadium. And how excited are you and the rest of the women's team to be able to play in this big, beautiful new yeah, stadium? Yeah, so excited. Hopefully we can get a whole bunch of fans out there, families, friends, um, people from the youth teams to come out and support because that's usually comes out now. So yeah, super and excited. I'm glad you brought that up because coming to these games really is a family environment. Mm -hmm. So who who is welcome at these games? Family, everybody of all ages? Yeah, yeah. everyone. I mean, like we I said earlier about the community, they're out the SF Glens. I was a coach for them and I still coach for them sometimes in the summer through summer camps and a lot of players of my age or even younger also help coach and they always show up at the games and give us a lot of support so that's really cool. Yeah that is cool and I'm sure you guys heard it we just saw how amazing Aiden was but this month entire month long of May we're going to be celebrating amazing kids and a lot of kids look up to the two of you mm -hmm. soccer players who are pursuing professional careers as an athlete what would be each of your piece of advice to kids out there who maybe want to do what you do? Um, I would say just never give up. Um, always follow your dreams. If someone tells you you can't, it doesn't matter. Just keep going and pursue what you want to go for and give it 100%. What about you, Dominic? Yeah, just find that motivation within yourself. Bet on yourself and believe that, you know, you can do whatever you put your mind to. Just stick to it. 
So this Sunday, you guys kick off the season, no pun intended, <laughs> and then everybody can catch you on the Cronon app as well, right? One more time with that information, Dominic? Yeah, I believe so. I'm not sure about this weekend, mm -hmm. but the, uh, there are three other double hutters throughout the year that they will be able to catch us on the Cronon app. Awesome. Well, thank you both so much for joining us here today yeah. on Live in the Bay. Thank you. Thank and you good much. luck this season. Thank, thank you. you. Watch the game.